Greetings, programs. Hey, happy Wednesday to y'all. What is this? Screen is not currently set to the recommended resolution. Configure the PC resolution to 2560 by 1440. Current resolution is 3840 by 2160. How did that happen? Okay. Hold on, y'all. How did this happen? Do any 560 by 1440, please. Okay. I, I gotta think that, that it's all right now. Anyway, hey, greetings, programs. Uh, happy Wednesday to y'all. Happy 4th of July Eve. Um, if you are here in the U.S., then tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's a day. Tomorrow's a big day. I hardly ever baked pumpkin pie until I moved here. I was missing out. Actually, I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin pie, Eva. You don't have to make it. The leaves were so crunchy when I walked to work this morning. They were satisfying to step on. It's, um, we're going to mean, we're just going to read that as yesterday morning. Oh, come on. You're telling me you've never gone out of your way to find a pile of crunchy leaves to step on them? I live in the desert. We don't really have them so much, but I think it's fine that you did. Let's go outside. Okay. We're going to grab these. Because I have a feeling we're going to be building more um, more auto barrels today. But let's... All right. Well, let's, let's pick up stuff first. Use attachment, harvest storage, hot peppers. Sure. And I'll bet this is going to be something similar. Yeah, exactly the same, as a matter of fact. Okay, mead being made, that's fine. None of these trees look like they're doing anything right now. Let's take a look here. All right, this has a one on it. Why Why are they not bringing them down? Unless, this is not full. Okay, now those ones are gone. And they're here. I, I, I'm just going to say that that was just a weird little hiccup. It's a little something that's going to happen from time to time. And that's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about at all. Oh, but it's so good. Look at all of that. Let's see if any of the jelly here is ready. It sure is. There's a lot. Uh, let's also throw those hot peppers and those hot peppers in. Oh, very exciting. Yeah, we are going to put at least one more in here today. And uh, I think four and four is probably going to be enough. Although, although we could put another one in here and put looms on each side. That's my thinking. That's what I want to do. I just double check real quick and make sure that we are indeed live. At my my monitor computer has been doing this really weird thing lately where rather than showing me myself playing Coral Island, it shows my big offline splash screen, which I don't like. I would like it to show, hey, you're streaming. Way to go. Uh, all right, let's not mess with that anymore. A little flower to pick up. Excellent. And let's let the aminals out. I think it might be a truffle and coffee day. I'm not sure, but it might be. Let's uh, let's pop inside. And it, at the very least, there will be some golden eggs today. Yep. And that's all. You guys could go outside. All right, what do we got in here? I love... The livestock automation. That's so good. You guys could go outside and find me some coffee beans. Uh, it's not going to be a big day here. But that means we'll have quite a few duck eggs. And if the peacocks wanted to drop feathers, that would be all right, too. 
I want to apologize, however, for the previous video. Hey, look at that. All I had to do was talk about it, uh, which should have been up on YouTube on Sunday. Uh, and it was not. In fact, I didn't even notice that it didn't get itself up there until like five minutes ago. So that's pretty embarrassing and that's my bad. Uh, but I will make sure that this one gets up within 24 hours of, uh, of the big show. All right, those guys still have their walls, so they're not gonna be ready. So let's go over here. And just start throwing stuff in here. So like, oh no, those are just salted quail eggs. All right, we want to throw the coffee beans in here. And with any luck, they're going to return these. Anything else that's going in here? No. And then here, we're just going to drop those and that and all of that. We'll take this. Yeah, I guess the only bad thing about this is that it doesn't, like, it stocks up this one first and then this one. So, well, I don't know. Maybe that's not not as much to worry about as I thought it might be. I, you know what? I'm not going to be concerned. So, things to do today. We want one more of these here and one more of these here. So we need to make two more auto chests. And I imagine that we have enough to make one more. Oh. Yeah, just one more. Okay. Let's put it, uh, let's put it over here. Where did that bad boy go? Here it is. Stick it right there. And then let's grab the looms from inside. I think I have three, but we're just gonna take two. Ooh, look at that, some aged beer, outstanding. And some truffle oil, got to love it. Whack, whack, all right. Truffle oil and, nope, nothing. Yeah, we're almost, in fact, these are done. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area. I kind of like having everything out. I mean, I know it doesn't look as nice as it could. All right, fair enough. But I don't, I don't really care all that much, to be honest. Okay, let's uh, let's go drop stuff for sale. We have quite a bit. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Any more of those coffee beans around today? No, oh, yes, yes indeed. Outstanding, good job, you little, I don't know. I have no idea what those things are. Meerkats or something? Anyway, let's drop those in here. At some point we're going to make banana wine, I guess. I'm not going to age regular coffee, so we'll sell that. Let's get the looms up here. Excellent. All right, so we can now drop sheep's wool and llama wool in here. That's so good. Oh, it makes me so happy. Automation is the best. Let's grab the battery. You know, we'll take a quick peek in here. Maybe there's some stuff we can take over and throw into our, our little automation factory. Nope, nope. Don't think any of these. And nothing else. Pretty sure that these are not going to have anything just now. Yep, we're done. Let's go start selling stuff. I must put the coffee in there. Coffee is a, a four. I mean, it has a lot of things in common with batteries. 
Ian, we'll throw these in there. And I guess the grouper as well. Uh, all of these. Here, what do we got? Blueberry wine? We, we don't know. Oh, really? Osmium blueberry wine? Melon wine, 4,600. Goodness gracious, look at that. 5,700 for aged large Gesha coffee. That stuff is fantastic. I wonder how silver will go. Probably not as good. Still 2,600 for the large century quail eggs, uh, the um, gold quality ones. That is not nothing. Okay. Do these all have... They don't all have them. Throw the uh, iris honey in here. And I don't remember what we put in there last time. Maybe a lily? Yeah, a lily seems right. Let's just stick a rose in. Okay. That is all done. And look, it is only 11. Uh, one thing I do want to do is go and get more... Uh, I want to go and get... Uh, what's it? Nope, not, not that. I want to go and get uh, more osmium. There we go. There's a word. We do want potions of cure light wounds to come along with us. All right. So let's go up and see if we can't get maybe 50 osmium? 40 or 50? That would be good. Just a quick run. We aren't going to spend a whole lot of time in there. I am fairly certain that I have the competition locked down. And I know that those are famous last words, but I really feel like we've got a great set. Look at this right here. We have a great set of stuff to put in. Eleven right there. Oh, you've got to love that. You positively have to. And I didn't bring... All right, we're just going to break open a few here and see if we find a way down. I forgot to bring rope, which... That's on me. All right. Uh, exit mines, yes. And then we'll just drop down to 15. A little disappointing. Actually, we'll just go to 10 and then take the thing down. I mean, there should be, yeah, like right there. That way we can, you know, get 11. There ought to be some at least. Uh-oh. Is that guy coming back? He is. Okay, that did not take long. Very good. Excellent. We are at 20, we're halfway there. Is there anything else in here that I, um, there's that. Did I get, po I did get poisoned. I hate that guy. Oh, I hate them so much. All right. Ah, victory. Excellent, that's 27. I mean, really? 30 would probably be okay. Ooh, 30 would probably be okay, but. <coughs> Pardon me, y'all, sorry about that. 35, decent. Let's uh, break a few here and just see if maybe. Excellent. Maybe we can't find the way down to the next one. Yep, 
if we could get up to 40, I would not complain. If we got to 50, I would not complain even less. The amount of my non-complaining would be even greater. All right, Wasp, come on. You wanna do this? He doesn't, he's afraid. He's a coward. I don't see any around here. Well, that sucks. Fire 13 kind of is lame. Look at the size of that guy. Uh, all right. Still none? Uh-oh. Ah, victory! Another victory in which I did not get hit. Is there no osmium? I mean, that's two in a row, unless he's sitting on it. Are you sitting on it? This guy is like there. Still though, none. I I didn't. I'm just gonna do one quick little once around. I didn't miss a turn or anything, did I? No. It's just that this level sucks. And, and if I if my math is right, that's like a couple in a row. That's that's it telling me that I should go to 15 since I can get there for free. That is the game telling me, go to 15. That's where your fortune is, young man. All right. Oh, fossil, okay, decent. Oh, there's a little something over here. All right, only a couple. That's not great. So we are at 40, though. And you know what? I think 40 is enough. We don't have a way down. Let's just go. Uh, entrance. Yeah, let's just get out of here. We'll get some bars going. That way, I mean, maybe by... The end of the day, we'll have enough. I don't know if we will or not, to be honest. Gonna have to grab some more coal. You know what? While I'm at it, let's uh, let's start making a little more coal. All right. Since we have that going. All right. Should have spread that out a little bit better, but I mean, hindsight, right? Okay. Get the wood and the coal in there. We're gonna sell some of that junk we got in the monster cave there. All right, put back our adventuring stuff, the sword, the potion of cure light wounds. And we did a flower last time. We'll do a sunflower this time. I just wanted to did I put, did I fill this with cactus flowers? I just want to make sure. I'm fairly certain that's what all of these things are. We need to be, we need to have a lot of cactus flowers on hand. That's where the, the best meat is. The most valuable meat is made from cactus flowers. Go figure. All 
right, let's go down. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm excited. I get to look at all of my automation. Oh, it's it's just it's working like gangbusters. It really is. Uh, okay, none of this is ready though. That's all right. That takes a long time. All of that. I mean, that's just working just like an absolute champ. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased with how it's working. I just couldn't be happier. I'm... Hold on. Let's put this in. And then let's have a look. Let's have a look back here. Is there a way... Hi, kitty cat. That we could... Integrate the uh, truffle oil into this. Let's think about this. If we were to put one more in here, because it looks like you can do them one, two, three, four, five, six long, and it's currently only five. So if we put one more on there and we put truffle oil things on either side, I could drop truffles in here as well. I feel like that's the thing to do. Do I have enough? I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't, right? Yeah. And I don't think the miasmia bars are going to be anywhere near ready. So, yeah. Well, in that case, heck, let's go walk around the, uh, walk around the town. Oh, even better. Even better. And more, well, maybe not better, but certainly more important. We should take a look at some of the fish in the area. So we'll use the little the fish app on the computer. Uh, nope, none of those. Uh, looks like we have all of these by the, by the lighthouse. We're good. The estuary, we're good. The pond at the farm, yeah, that's to be expected. What do we have here? Giant sea bass. Okay. So the giant sea bass, but it looks like it's only in the morning or at night. Okay, so forest ocean, only in the morning or at night, we can get a giant sea bass. I think it's worth it. I think we go. I think we go now. I think it's like over here. The reason we're all excited about that is I am fairly certain that a giant sea bass is one of the fish that we need to donate to the temple to uh, be able to um, go ahead and finish that up it yeah this is it right here all right we have plenty of medium bait which is what we're using right now This is trash. Well, no, it's not trash, but it's not going to be a great fish. Yeah. Have we ever done anything with that? We have. Okay. One thing we can do is for every, I want to say it's every two fish, two fish we catch, we can turn them into large bait, which might be better at catching some of the more rare fish. This looks like probably something similar. Nope, it is a sea cucumber, 155 centimeters. That is insane. Uh, okay, is it under miscellaneous? It is. Here we go, large fish bait. Oh no, it's just, you just need one. So one, two, three. Let's switch from what you were using now, medium fish bait to Large fish bait. Is 
was kind of hoping to try and get it out there, but that, that's okay. That's all right. This is trash. Yep. Okay, come on, giant sea bass. Now is the time. Wow. Okay, this is a super fighty fish. I think this is probably it. Goodness gracious. Yes, there we go. Two hundreds. That's a two meter fish. Jeepers, that is big. Oh, that's tilapia. I thought that was the one. Uh, here we go. Yep, offered. Bam, let's go. Oh, how great. I'm the only thing that would have been better is if we would have caught two of them. And we'll come back for that. Oh, this is exciting. I think we'll just need one more after this. Is it under the advanced one? It is not. We finished the advanced one. Here we go. We'll just need one more after this. The Arapaima. I, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Honestly, what else do we need? Finish that one. Finish this one. Still a lot of this stuff. Like, I need a cactus. A couple of gems. And stuff that I have not yet learned to cook. So this is where I'll be running short because everything else is running done is is done. That Arapaima is, is all we have left. Let's pop back home. We'll have to catch another one of those for the museum at some point, but that's going to have to wait. I also saw that this hole was done, which is good. We'll make a uh, more large bait out of that guy. Okay, miscellaneous large fish bait. Oh, I guess that's not a small fish. Oh, in that case, I'm you're getting sold for 263. Let's get down here and have a look and all my beautiful automation. Okay, some jam, some more jam, tempeh, sriracha sauce, excellent. None of this is aged stuff. That's okay. I mean, that always takes time. And a little more duck mayo. There's one more duck mayo that's probably not going to be done by tonight. Let's throw this stuff in and then go to the bar. With any luck, Axel will be there and I'll get to do my cool Axel voice and that really will make my day. Okay. Post. I don't really need that anymore. Closed! That's right. They're closed on Wednesdays. Which, honestly, ridiculously stupid, but it's their business. They get to make those decisions, not me. See, any more uh, flowers around here I might pick up and turn into mead? Oh, I'm not seeing any. Doesn't look like it. I 
I, I am going to keep doing mead by hand, I think. One quick look in here. There we go. Never going to call it karacha sauce. Never. I'll never call it that. That's wrong. And that's not ready, so that's going to be empty. That'll go tomorrow. Karacha sauce. It, it, it hurts me to say that. I, I could sell the compost. Yeah, let's do. I'm sure someone out there would want to buy compost. Excellent. Lucky here. Okay. Now then, we do have enough to build another uh, another automation chest. Should maybe build another one here. There's no reason we shouldn't put two more of those in. Okay, so uh, we want automation chest. Here we go. And then let's get the, can I get those now? I think I can. I mean, they aren't doing anything. Yeah, I should be able to. All right. So we'll put the oil presses out there. And then we'll just build one more here and then I think we'll probably be done putting up automation stuff. I don't know, unless we figure out something to do with the dehydrators. Maybe we'll stick the dehydrators on the back there. I just use them so rarely. Ah, oh, it's so fun. Let's actually go in here. I'm pretty sure I just have some fruit just sitting there. Nope, not in there. No, not in here either. Could at least go make more flour with this. Okay, let's do grab this. Do we have any more melon juice? Because, man, that was crazy. Yep. We need to get that in there. And we'll also grab... What do we not have much of? Maybe uh, some starfruit juice. I don't know if we've ever made wine with starfruit before. We're sure going to try. All right, stick the amaranth that we still have back in here. And I think we go ahead and call it a night. That is a pretty darn good day. I don't think it's going to be a huge money day. I don't think we'll make two million. I do think we'll get close. You know what we didn't do today? We did not go and check on London. Look at that! Two million! Two million! The sea cucumber wasn't awful. Two million! Ah, oh, I can remember when I would have been thrilled to have 4,324. Two million. Oh, I love saying that. Love it. I really want to go to Walter's house and be like, so do you have two million dollars like I do? Look at that melon wine. That's crazy. It's so much better than the blueberry wine. And I, I don't like melons. I, blueberry wine is tasty. All right. Well, I, I guess it's not me buying it. It's some melon aficionado. There we go. Two million. Does she have anything special to say about that? It's a bit chilly right now, but I much prefer it to having two million dollars. That's not it. That's not what she said at all. 
Fall is so pretty, isn't it? Back home, the trees never look like this. All right, Johnny, what's up? He looks happy. All right, let's go up, have a look at London. As ever, she is asleep, quiet, and cute. At one point, not long ago, it was like, hey, did you want to have another kid? And I said, yes. That has not happened yet. So, I don't know. It might happen in the future. Okay. Oh, hey, we got some stuff that's ready. Very nice. Well, we have one thing that's ready. That's, that's not awesome. That's not anything to crow about. Pretty sure none of these are going to be ready. Oh, very nice. All right. Let's handle the animals here. It looks like it would be a chilly day. Like, I don't think I would really enjoy today. What do we got? Oh, quail eggs. That's just wonderful. That's fantastic. That's so good. And it should be a goat day. So we'll have goat milk and we'll have cow milk and we'll have wool. It's awesome. Just a couple duck eggs. I wonder if I shouldn't I mean, I could build another one. It would be, you know, no problem to build another of these and just fill it with pigs. They look shorn, so I think we'll have wool. Yep. Real good. All right. Go throw stuff in the automation devices. Oh, I'm excited about that. That's, I love that. Or maybe four is all you can have. I'm not sure as far as how many pigs you can have. That's what I meant. All right. So in here, we will take that and drop in that golden egg. I need to make sure we don't put those in. That'd be just a huge waste of resources. Those, the goat milk, the cow milk, and that goat milk too. All right. I think that that's, oh, no, wait. And the wool. Should have put the llama wool in first, but I mean, what are you going to do? All right. Oh, we have a bottle of mango wine. Very nice. Very interesting. Uh, This is aged. Outstanding. And that's just juice. So let's get. Actually. We need the eggs to go in here first. Right? Is that what we decided? Yes. So the eggs are like the only thing that make the trip between the two. I do wish there was a, a like a priority system that I could set up. You know, like if I could say like stuff and maybe there is stuff over here gets done before stuff over there. I wonder if that's the case. Any case, did I get everything out of there? Looks like I did. Then I've here, yes, we got everything. We don't have anything else that needs to be thrown in there. We do need like that, I suppose. There we are. You know what? Let's build another one. Why not? In fact, let's build two more. There's no reason not to. We are short on osmium bars. We're going to need one, two, three, four more. 
And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Ah, that worked out real nice. And let's put the these back in here before I accidentally sell them or something. And the sap and the resin. Did I not pick up the resin? Maybe I didn't. Anyway. Don't know how much mango wine goes for. We will find out tonight. Okay. The honey is still at work. None of the meat is ready. So, things to do today. When we have enough uh, in the way of osmium, we are going to build one, two more of these and put these little mason jar things on either side of it. That'll help us make things like jam and sriracha sauce, but more importantly, uh, it'll help us age quail eggs faster. I've been asked this like more than once now, like why is it so important to you? I mean, you have $2 million. Sure, I have $2 million, but wouldn't it be neat to have three? Or four or ten. Huh? Answer me this. If you had two million and someone said, hey, wouldn't you like to have ten million? You would probably say yes, that you would. Oop, I did not mean to hit that. There we are. Okay. Nope, none of those. Garden Lane River. Uh no. The rice field, nope. Forest River, don't see them. Forest Ocean, there is the giant sea bass that we need to donate and the Mandarin that we need to donate. Town River, nope. Temple Lake, uh, nope. We've got everything from there. I'm fairly certain that I've looked in all of these now. Yeah, I think that I have. So, all right, well, the forest ocean to catch another giant sea bass and then uh, Mandarin for the museum. That's our next stop. It's still time. There's still time in the morning to get a sea bass. So let's go. We'll check the uh, greenhouse a little later. I should clean up those uh, logs and that stone that's there. All right. I don't think you can get the Mandarin now. I think the Mandarin is a little later in the day, but we could get a sea bass. This is not one. This is trash. Yeah. Here we go. I, I just have a better feeling from this area. This is where we got our last one. Nope, this is not, that's not it at all. Okay, that's a firefish. You know what's going to happen to you. That's right. I, I find it incredibly gratifying that you can turn the little trash fish that come and bother you into bait. That really makes me happy. Yep. Firefish, guess what's happening to you? Ah, that's very satisfying right there. All right, we shouldn't do it after every one of them now. I 
think we only have until... I want to say we only have until noon. Is this all there is? I guess that Arapaima is maybe that's a rain fish or maybe it's a winter fish. Trash. Wonderful. Trying to think of what places we have not run into puffer fish trying to. This is pretty, this might be one. Puffer fish trying to do their little campaign. Now this isn't it. I mean, that's okay. We'll certainly make it in debate, but that's not what I wanted. And more trash. Yay, trash. Yay. So I tried First Descendant yesterday. This is the new looter shooter from Nexon. Um, and it is free to play, which means that monetization in it is just terrifying. But I have to admit, I had a really good time playing it. And it looks great. Um, so while I am not a huge fan of Nexon as a company, and I think that their monetization practices are aggressive at the least, that's a good game. I mean, I've only played it for a few hours, but I really enjoyed it. I really had a good time. I'm looking forward to playing it more. Well, it's after 12, so we'll cast this one, call it good. Hey, I think we have a fossil. We'll take it to the lab. You know what, actually? I mean, since we're right by my house. Like I said, since we're right by my house, uh, let's check and see. Oh, look at. Hold on here. Stop the presses. Let's handle these first. I was going to say, let's see how much that mackerel would sell for. And we'll do that, but... Let's get this handled first. So if I'm right, this should have at the very least some mayo in it, maybe some cheese. There we go. And then the truffles go in. And I'm guessing that they're filling that. Awesome. I can see some of the eggs are at work here. Love that. What do we have here? A, some pineapple wine. Great. Don't know what it's going to sell for, but plum wine. And then there's this stuff. Let's get the melon juice up there. And maybe the banana juice up there. I really want to see how that's going to sell. What do we have? Uh, sriracha sauce, tempeh, white tea jam. That's it. Yeah, we didn't pick up the resin last time. That's OK. That is not a catastrophe. Uh, and we're not selling that. We are going to sell that and this. Let's see. Mackerel 68. Yeah, those are I mean, the only thing those are good for is selling. Or rather turning into bait. Pardon me. In fact, why don't we do that right now? What are we missing? 
Oh, uh, I guess mackerel aren't small fish. Well, damn. In that case, they are getting sold. Screw you, mackerel. I'm carrying around some wood. Why not throw it into here? Oh, it is two to one. That's right. In that case, we'll throw it back into... Nope. Crafting mats. Along with the resin and the fiber and the stone. Only got 24 hay in there. You know what? I forgot to put the trash in the crafting mats thing. You get in there. All right, so we now have, let's see, that's one and that's one. We now have four Osmium bars. Am I right on that? We do, we do have four. So let's make, well, we'll extend this by one at least. And let's grab a couple of the ones from in here. Oh, all right. I think we have, is this the last one? It is. And then we'll grab these two. Right. Excellent. And we could put another one there. That would give us six. And I don't see any reason why not to. If we're going to do that, we should grab. We should grab more stuff, though. I mean, the sweet potatoes, I don't think we I think we learned you can't do anything with them. And I want to keep, I think, probably most of this stuff. This, Actually, there is some cooking you can do with it, as disgusting as that sounds. All right. Well. Did I have any others that are just sort of, I mean, like, look at this. Do I have any gold or Oz? I have gold blackberries there. We could take those. And the rest maybe I'll use for cooking at some point. Maybe. These should not be in here. Is that gold? Yeah, we'll we'll take that also. And I guess the tomatoes, the gold tomatoes we'll take also. That's enough. But yeah, those go in crafting materials. And I think that this aging barrel here will be the last one. I think the last. Oh, no, it's not the last one. We could put two more in. <laughs> so many of them. Oh, that makes me so happy. Let's get these in here. And uh, I guess the hot peppers can go in there. And maybe the tomatoes also. think that that's probably it there any of this stuff ready to go oh yeah all kinds of stuff ready to go oh, that, that's just so nice i really like that a lot let's go sell this and then let's pop up to the town oh you know what we didn't do today hold on hold on we did not go in here and we were going to do it yesterday and i kind of blew it off Yep, those are absolutely cacti. And we have some fruits that are going to be ready maybe tomorrow. All right, those will be ready tomorrow. That's fine. That's fantastic. Very happy about that.
All right, cheese and mayo and flour and aged beer. I think that's it. I really don't need to carry around a bunch of fish bait. Maybe I throw the fish bait in here. I actually have some in here. Let's do that. When could we catch it? I think it was at night. I think it was after 6 p.m. that we could catch the, uh, here we go, the elusive great sea bass. Uh, giant sea bass. Yeah, after 6 p.m. We could also catch the mandarin then. So, after 6 p.m., I think we go fishing. I still really want to get to the ocean, or, or not the ocean. I still really want to get to the bar so I maybe get to do my cool Axel voice. I mean, that's really fun. And if I don't get to, I'll be, I'll be a little disappointed. I won't, I won't lie to you. Okay, so I need this one to be done and then we can make one more. All right, a couple of jars of honey done. Let's see, we did sunflowers last time, so let's grab a gardenia and a poppy, the last osmium poppy that we have. It's not quite 6 p.m., so I don't think we need to go yet. I think that if we went to the bar, we're not going to find anything. So, Here's something we might do. We haven't gone to get fossils in a while. And actually, since we're gonna be in this area, it wouldn't be bad to harvest some hay. I think that that Atlas Moth is worth a lot. What do we got? 24 hay? I, I know that harvesting hay is not riveting television, but you kind of need it for winter. Fifty-seven hay, seventy-five hay for that. That's okay. I'm all right with that. Wait a minute. Didn't there used to be the? Am I? I... Am I not remembering this right? Okay, there was this, and then there's the monkey there. Monkey, what's up? Or did we just need to go further in? There we go. Oh, for a minute. I was really worried. We'll just clear these out. Can't hurt to get some more hardwood. Maybe there we go. I was, I was just going to say I'm going to hope we maybe get some geodes and some fossils. And sure enough, the whole mess above them. Realize it's after 6 p.m. Really time to go f uh, fishing, but I do want to clear these out. All right, good enough. I mean, 75 uh, 
if you figure I need 32 for a day, I mean, 75 is two days worth of, of hay. Uh, we want to go actually probably to the farm. And then we'll just run there. Is it still not done? Hurry up. Okay. So, we need to catch another giant sea bass or a mandarin. This is not going to be what we need to catch. That is a trap. Never mind. I was wrong. It was really easy to catch, though. I was I was like, this is a trash fish, but it's not. That's just what we need. This is trash. Okay, another Mandarin. Now we can sell them and see. I mean, maybe they sell for a lot. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. Given how easy they are to catch, I think probably not. We'll go until maybe like 10 p.m. And then we'll uh, head maybe more like 930. We'll head back, check all the automation, get what needs to go to the uh, for sale bin, and then we'll call it a night. And see what happens to us on Friday the 5th. More trash, come on. Maybe I need to be more careful about getting my cast to land in the middle there. I, I mean, I have no idea if that's something that the game models at all about like where different fish would be. Come on, giant sea cucumber. This is it. We're not giant sea cucumber, giant sea bass. That's it. Damn it. Ah, oh, rats. We, we ah. You got away. This is, and this is not going to be as valuable a fish. Let me check. Okay, ten fish bait. We're good. We'll make this one our last cast. I'd wanted to leave at nine thirty. We'll make this the last one since we did have a giant sea bass and it snapped our line. I think this is another one. No, it's not. No, it's not quite fighty enough to be one. But it's a mackerel. That's all right. We'll sell it. At least that fishing spot is like right next to the farm. I mean, it's super close. That's real good. Drop this in here. We now have the third. Hmm. Throw these seeds in here. Put that fiber in crafting mats and that wood and that stone. 
Have we ever sold one of these? We haven't. Well? Boy, maybe the sea cucumbers. Maybe we should be growing those. We don't want to sell that. We'll, I mean, we can, we'll sell that one and take that one to the museum. Just want to make sure I've never, that I have donated one of those. Okay. I think we're going to sell that Atlas mod just to price them. Actually, I take that back. Let's breed that one. And we'll, you know, if it's not a good one to sell, then we'll just get rid of it. All right. So back down to... Do I have a little bug thing set up yet? I don't know that I do. I just have fish ones. The tuna actually sell for quite a bit. So, for the other one then, we're gonna put these gross sea cucumbers and let the, oh, we do have this. Oh, okay, all right, good. Where's this, here we go. Not quite sure how one uh, one of them breeds, but they do, and that's good enough for me. I have some kind of magical breeding thing going on where they can just do it themselves, and that's all right. Yeah, Osmium Tuna, 488 is not bad. It's, it's easy, easy income, too. Okay, let's check. All of this stuff over here. See if anything is ready to go sell. Oh, look at all this stuff. Love it. Anything here? Bottle of wine. I'll take it. And then over here. Uh, we do have salted quail eggs, which are not going to get. Okay, those aren't yet. Um, are not going to be sold, they're going in here. Fact, now that's all right. We'll, we'll leave them in that order. I don't know if that's necessary, but I feel like it might be. I want to make sure the Osmium ones get done first. Uh, not selling that. We got to take that to the museum tomorrow. It belongs in a museum. And the sriracha sauce. Well, I'm thinking about it. Let's throw the hay in here. So that's 99 that's in there, plus whatever I have in the silo. All right. Let's go to bed. Thirty-eight thousand. That's not awful. Uh, we wanted to. The Mandarin sold for three fifty. Those Osmium tuna sold for six hundred each. That's not bad. Okay. Isn't this the best season for cookies and tea? It's pretty good. I'll give you that. I don't need out much. I don't know. I guess the dishes I actually love, I can make myself. Frank and Betty still have the best red velvet cake in town, though. Is that a hint? You sure know how to make me feel special. Thank you for the present, my darling. The very cake you've given to me almost every day since we started playing this. Johnny looks happy today. All right, let's get out there. Oh. What do we have here? The Harvest Festival. Ah, uh, I want I want the music from like the good, the bad, and the ugly to be playing here. All right, that is game freaking on. So this is what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring some wine, a uh, large century quail egg. Some aged sake, arge, arge, aged large geshe coffee, aged beer, and then I'm not actually bringing this strawberry wine. I am bringing this white truffle oil. We'll just put that there. We should go age that. So that 
is what I'm taking. Yeah, the strawberry wine. I will keep that. Maybe we'll sell it. So these six items are the ones we're taking. I mean, that aged beer is really the weakest link. If there was something I could replace it with, I would. But I feel like I've got a pretty strong showing here. Yeah, then let's put the sake in the little aging thing. Any of these ready to go? Oh, a couple of, uh, I think these are lychees. Is that right? Apples. Oh, even better. All six osmium. Love to see that. Positively love that. Let's get them in uh, whoop, here. All right, so we're going to throw the apple juice in, but I want it to go there. There we go. I have no idea if that is going to affect things or not, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, we do need to make two more of those. Can I make more right now? I mean, we'll just have a look. Aging barrel. I can only make one. I only had enough osmium for one. Let's handle the animals. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be an especially impressive day from the uh, from the animals here. I don't think we're going to get a lot. This will just be a couple of chicken eggs. And I think this will just be some cow milk. Coffee boy. Yep. I really do like the names I've given them. Coffee boy is an awesome name. <laughs> All right, a couple of duck eggs. And I don't think we need to go in here. We just got wool from those guys, didn't we? I'm almost certain we did. Okay, uh, yeah, just the, here, we'll put these first and then those and then that large milk. Look at that. That's fantastic. So good. Yeah, I think we can do it that way. That'll be fine. And I don't think I'm carrying around anything else. I want to age in there. Some more fruit for tomorrow. Forty two hundred for that. That's just outstanding. All right, what do we got ready in the big greenhouse? Oh, this is really good. Couple of plums, couple of avocado, couple of cocoa beans that you can do nothing with. There are my lychees and uh, some rambutan. More plums and nanners. OK. And my cacti are still growing. I think they're going to be a while. Look at this even more. I think it's every it's either every two or every three days that Coffee Boy and company find me some new coffee. Bless their little hearts. All 
Okay, uh, I don't think... I mean, I could go ahead and throw these in. The silver ones we're not going to do. So the lychee, the rambutan can go in. If I remember right, banana wine did not sell all that great. Plus, we already have some banana juice kind of waiting. Hmm. was plotting a bit about what we might do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to let's let's make jam from the bananas. Oh, a salted quail egg. Very nice. We need to go age that. Sell this. All that stuff. And then, I mean, since this is so easy now, there's no reason we shouldn't throw nearly everything in to make jam. And I guess this doesn't really, you can't do anything with that except cook with it. So I'm just going to sell it. I don't think I've got anything else in here that can go there. I just realized I am carrying around one of those eggs. That's all right. We'll take it in there. And I don't want to sell that. I will sell that one. I don't want to carry it around anymore. And honestly, I don't really think I need fiber all that much anymore. I think we've probably, I think we've probably moved beyond fiber as a construction, um, a construction material. Just look at all of that stuff aging. It's so good. Uh, I love to see it. Ooh, here we are. Fantastic. Do we have another one here? Did, did Coffee Boy and Company find me another? I imagine that they will before the sun goes down. And I don't think, yeah, these will have bred yet. So we'll just let them go. Okay, we did Poppy last time. Let's grab a peony then. And I think now we go to the museum. We didn't get both of the fish we wanted, but we did get one. And that's not bad. We have kind of come to a standstill at improving the improving the town. And it really sort of seems like the museum is all we can do. Here, we'll drop that in. Yeah, we're at 280 there. If we take a quick look here, yeah, here's the town rank. I mean, we are we are not even at uh, like halfway to A there. I mean, the ocean is good. The museum is really kind of the weakest link. So I, I guess what I need to do is, you know, just continue getting more more fossils more uh, geodes and crack those open and hope for good stuff. And then whatever the hell heritage is. Mocha, not right now. No, not right now. Oh, we wanted to go to the laboratory. Ooh, what's this? What, is, what does someone want? I don't have any of those. So I think we're going to have to skip that one. Sorry. Okay. Let's 
get some fossils. Uh, yep, yeah, that one I know we have. Now, that's not a fossil, so... Pretty sure we've got that one. That's not a fossil either. You know, I don't know if we have a Triceratops leg. Nope, we do. And we have that, and we have that. Those are all getting sold. That's a shame. Well, we do have a few... A few geodes to process. So we will kind of loop around here. I, I just thought of something that sent a little shiver down my down my spine. What if one of the things you have to do for heritage is improve your relationships with all the townspeople? Because while I have you know decent relationships with them, you know I'm I'm friends with most of them. You know, I'm, I'm nowhere beyond, like, three or four hearts with the lion's share of them. Okay. Okay. I mean, none of those are bad, but I'm pretty sure that we have donated all three. Yeah. So we got just a bunch of stuff to sell. Disappointing. We'll, we'll grab the banded woolly bear, which is going to get sold. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's we'll throw that in there. The crafting mats to throw the ore and that in trash. And... That's right, sap goes in agriculture for making that now. Then I guess... Maybe we put these in saved in case we ever decide to upgrade something. And then we'll just sell everything else. So we'll sell the Velociraptor Claw and that bug. Yeah, I mean... 275 for the mammoth torso is really the only one that's at all remotely impressive. I think that one's going to be done. The other one might be done today, too. That's not bad. So another one here could give us another one, but we have one that is with nothing going on. Let's take that. Anything in here? No, we want to age that. So, yeah, don't play with those. Those are those are very complex pieces of machinery now. Johnny, be good. <laughs> Get it? Ah, that was clever. There we go. A little more coffee. Fantastic. Okay. We don't really have a whole lot else going on right now. Let's go and get some things sold. Like the llama yarn. Look at that. 3900 as a base price. Oof, that's not bad. I know I just said that we don't really need to be keeping fiber around, and I just did it. I did it just the same. How are we doing on osmium bars? Like, could I make another one of those? Nope, because we're short on, guess what? Osmium bars. Okay, well, let's get my sword. Let's get the, uh, where is it? Potions of Cure Light Wounds. Let's go underground.
25. And we'll start there. It's right there by the gate. That doesn't seem fair. It dropped me right in that guy's lap. That's not cool at all. Uh-oh. Ah, that was just masterfully done. All right, so that's eight so far. Let's see, I'm not seeing any others. Let's just pop back up and we will, I don't know, maybe drop to 20 this time. And then we'll just immediately continue down to 21. It's an opal. Gosh darn it. A red barrel is one of the uh, gems that I need for the uh, temple. All right. we go I just laid waste to all of them we didn't really even lose all that much health I'm not disappointed in how that went uh oh all right and it never hit us not once well okay we'll now be fighting its friend Ah, two in a row! What does that put us at? Only 16? That's not great. But, I mean, the good news is we've got the uh, way down right there. Let's have a little quick look around, make sure there's nothing we're missing. Yeah. do want to make sure that we don't spend like all night down here I think if we can get to I don't know 30 30 yeah if we can get to 30 we'll just call it good did it stab me while it was dying? No fair. Okay. That guy should drop good stuff. I mean, he's a big honking troll. He should drop something, you know, worthwhile, not tough meat, which really sounds pretty disgusting. All right, it is looking like there is nothing here. We haven't come across the way down. So, uh, I think we go back upstairs and drop on 215. How are we doing on time?
And we're right. Uh, oh, it's only 350. That's fine. And it's right there. Ouch. Come here, little jerk. I just want 30. Don't give me 29. Ooh. All right. That's okay. This is going to work out okay. This has got to be a good one. Yep. We are done. It is Miller time. And not even 5 p.m. I mean, we can get back and start working on continuing automation. Or expanding automation. Let's put it that way. I do think this is going to be the last day we play uh, this evening, though. We're Actually, I don't think we're going to be able to work on expanding it right now we just do not have uh we won't have the bars we're gonna need but but there's eight more that are gonna be on the way sell this and that and this that and that and that bone and the dark essence Get some more coal going. Wait, is this done? Is this ready? Oh, it is. Silver Star Papaya. That's embarrassingly sad. Uh, okay. Large salted quail egg, large salted quail egg. One, two, three. I, I mean, could I put another one there? I wonder if there's a limit to how many of these you could have on a conveyor belt. Or if I would have to set up another one. Oh, these olives are ready. I think they get pressed into oil. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, it does look that way. All right. Well, this is great. We'll get those pressed into oil. And I think we've already checked here. Yeah, that is all juice. We want to age that still. Those are still need to be turned into century eggs. I think we are done with that. Let's go throw stuff in the for sale bin and then run to the bar real fast. All right, I don't want to carry around my uh, sword and my potions of gearlight wounds. Oh gosh, I hope Axel's there. I'm going to be so disappointed if he's not. 
There's Taco. He's just sort of asleep. They're in the middle of the street. At least there are no cars. They are there. Oh, I'm so glad. All right, we'll talk to Senja first. Stars in the sky, the best map a wanderer like me could ask for. Senja sort of acts a light. I trust a monster by its cover. Fluffy ones are often the most dangerous. All right. Oh, that's my favorite part. Um, hello there. Couldn't help but notice you from here. Whoa, Axel. I'm a married man. I appreciate that. It's very flattering, but... I learned that in every culture, no matter how different, so it's a shared love for good food and hearty laughter. That's it? Boo! All right. Uh, that, is there anybody else interesting we could talk to? I mean, honestly, there isn't. Oh, wait, he was talking about dyeing his hair because it's growing gray. And I want to see if he's continuing with this. Ah, finally, a cool breeze. You mean a cool breeze to be blowing your gray hair? Ha ha ha. All right, we're done. Actually, we're going to go one more place. We haven't been inside Walter's house recently. And Walter strikes me as the kind of guy who might be interested in, a, you know, a, a pufferfish uh, run establishment because, you know, it might be good for his business. Oh, cool. Black trumpet. Very nice. Ooh, cutscene. That is wild. That never happened to us, thankfully. Well, there's that one time when your purse almost got snatched in Pokyo, remember? Oh, wow, that was a scary moment. We were just done with dinner and on the way to the car. They look bored out of their minds. What was it, hun? Must have been my birthday, I think, because it was a pretty cold evening. I remember holding my coat like this, and there was a very fast person on a motorbike, and just BAM! Oh! The attempt failed. I was fine. Or maybe they're maybe they're riveted. You could have fallen. Oh dear. That was my fear, too. But thankfully I wasn't harmed at all. Oh boy, a <laughs> city can be wild sometimes. Part of why we moved here, in fact. No, oh, actually, not in fact. It's not a place to raise a family. It's the fresh air for me. I don't see a problem raising Luke in the city. I was raised in a big city myself. I had my fun. Of course, dear. Anyway, I remember telling Randy. Did he get a text? Apologies, everyone. I forgot that I have to get going. Oh, come on. The fake exit text. I have an important meeting. There, there is a business thing I must attend to. I have to make a call in 10 minutes, a pro bono for my friend. This is that's disgusting, Walter. You're going to leave Bree there to deal with these two? Oh, sure, it's late. We should probably... Oh, no, no. Actually, Bree seems like she's having a good time. Oh, no, please don't leave. Take your time. Enjoy the meal. I'm sure Bree's prepared an amazing dessert. Don't let me ruin the dinner. Wonder what Walter is all about here. Excuse me, ladies. Randy. Now, where were we? I'm, I'm still not sure whether they were bored or whether Bree was enjoying it and Randy was bored. Either way, we did not see them, did not see any of the pufferfish folks there. All right, I don't really want to go in and chat with them. I just wanted to see if they were 
consorting with uh, the pufferfish people. And apparently they are not. There's Taco! He's the best boy. All right, quick look at the uh, the automation bins. I love this part so much. Really is kind of my favorite. Pickled peas sound absolutely disgusting. I mean, they sound vile. Apple juice. All right, that's no. Uh, none of that is what I want. So, okay, none of that stuff is ready to sell. And those can't be pressed yet. Given that we don't grow olives all that often, I don't think we need to put another one here with two more presses. If we grew olives a lot more, I would I would think otherwise. I I think we just sell those and they sell for a decent price which probably even isn't even all that much anymore i guess we'll find out we'll find out how much that guy sells for also a little gardenia honey gardenia uh, mead sells all right and let's see i guess larkspur we'll throw one of those in I guess that's probably about it. We could make a quick run because I, I want to say it was at night also, like late at night, that we could catch that bass. Let's do that. Let's wrap up by doing that. All right. I mean, the last one broke my or broke my line, so... There is definitely one out there. This is probably it. I think I got him. There we go. Let's go. 206 centimeters. That is a giant. Hence the name. I think we take it to the museum right now. Actually, why walk there? I mean, like a peasant when we could bamf there. And drop the sea bass in. 281. All right, so I'm gonna wrap on up now. Uh, if you stopped by today, hung out with me on Twitch, kept me company, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. If you are watching this over on YouTube, once again, I want to apologize for the lateness of the last Coral Island video. Uh, it is entirely my fault. I uh, just kind of, you know, flubbed something, and that's what happened. Uh, but this one will be out in about 24 hours. If you're watching it there, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, I hope you drop a thumbs up on Tomorrow night, I'll be streaming maybe more First Descendant, or maybe I'll just decide, no, I'm not going to. In which case, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. That's at 6.30 p.m. Pacific, 9.30 on the East Coast. And Saturday, we will be right back here in Coral Island. I don't think we'll quite make it to the 15th, uh, which is when the big event is. But uh, we'll, we'll get a lot more farming done, maybe expand some more on the automation efforts that we've got going on. You know, before we absolutely call it a night, let's just check 
Let's check the bins once more. It, it just it really pleases me when I check one of these bins and there's stuff that I need to go sell. That is really satisfying. Age large Gesha coffee. You love to see that. Nothing else. Just a bunch of stuff that will hopefully be wine someday. And in here, we've got a little bit more mayo. I love that big, huge line of aging barrels there. That's just, that's really nice. Okay, so we'll throw that in there, and this and this, and that $5,700. Dollar age large Gesha coffee. That is an expensive cup of coffee right there. You are a coffee connoisseur if you're willing to drop $5,700 on uh, large Gesha coffee. By comparison, I want to say that it cost me $10,000 to build a barn. All right. Uh, I am all done, though, guys. I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, have a wonderful night, and if you are having a good time with the 4th of July tomorrow, maybe watching the fireworks, I hope you'll be safe. I hope you enjoy yourselves and have a good time, and uh, I really hope that I'll maybe see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. So long.